Alright, so I kind of feel like an idiot because this is the second time I've done this tonight. The first time it did not record. So, what we're doing is uh, making a free printable <laughs> to install on your WordPress site. Uh, so, as you can see, I've already done one here, uh, but we're going to do another. So, you're going to start with, um, after you've found your free printable, you're going to run over to PicMonkey. And normally we'd go to edit or collage or whatever, but tonight, because we're doing a free printable, we're going to do design. So open up that, and then we're going to come down here to um, resize, whatever it will let me. We don't want it to keep proportions um, because we're changing the proportions. We want it to be 8.5 by 11, right? Because that'll print the best. So we're going to change this to 2500. By 3300. And that's that's eight and a half by eleven, give or take a couple of pixels. So now we're gonna go in to our overlays, little butterfly button, and your own, because you're you're pulling up something of your own, right? And I've already done a couple of these, so we're gonna go down and do this fourth one. These are coloring pages, by the way. Um that I like to do on the website because that's actually where I get most of my traffic is adult coloring pages, oddly enough. So we're just going to scale this up a little bit so it fits the page a little bit better, center it, do whatever you're going to do. So now it's time to save. I'm going to go over here and the title of this post is Crazy Busy uh, Adult Coloring Pages, so we're just going to title this one Crazy Busy Adult Coloring pages free download. So save that to the computer. And I, I, for organization's sake, make a folder for the downloads so that I kind of keep them separate. Now, pretend we went through and did all of ours, uh, all 20 of them. I'm not going to do them all 20, obviously, for the um, video because that would be way too much. So now you pretend you've made all 20 of them though. Um, now you're going to go into edit because you, you want to make something that goes on your web page to view but is not, um, you know, an 8.5 by 11 because that's just too big for your web page. So we're going to go into what we just made, that last one we just made. Open that bad boy. The 8.5 by 11 is going to open. And we want to resize it and keep proportions this time. And I use uh, 700 um, as the width on all of mine, um, just because I, I like it that way. Um, and then you know you can crop it to bring it down. You can you know, whatever, but I, I like to keep it so that visitors can see the whole sheet that they're about to download. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Um, and I like to add upload <laughs> to the end so that I, I know what I'm doing, you know, um, keep that kind of organization going um, for myself there. You certainly don't have to do that if you're a little bit more organized than I am. So now um, we need to make a PDF of the same, right? So um, I like to use Qt PDF Editor, so Editor or you search for it or whatever. Um, it might tell you it's a dangerous site because it's like really old, um, but just click through anyway. It's not going to kill you. So open your file that you made that is the free printable size. Um, let's see which one was it? That one. Give it a second to open. Open, open, open. Oh my gosh, I just showed my age. I'm so sorry. So embarrassed now. To be fair though, I was young enough, I don't even remember what store that was for. Just remember it. <laughs> Alright, almost done, almost done, almost done. Takes forever, but it's totally worth it because then you get a PDF. Almost done. And now. So, okay. Easy enough, you don't have to do anything with it because it's already the right size. You're just going to save it as, delete out the JPEG part, and enter. You can 
save that file, take it just a second, close that, leave the page. Now you're back into your WordPress document, so or your um, WordPress post. So go in and make the space. I'm gonna upload all three of those files that you just made. You want the crazy busy download as well as crazy busy download PDF. You want both of those. And you also want to remember to get that one that was sized for your um for viewing on your website. So get all three of them. And I know this seems like a whole lot, but it's really, you know, it's worth it at the end of the day. So you're gonna um, copy your title into your alt text. Um, always do that. You'll notice PDFs don't have alt text, so you don't have to worry about that. But um, the reason for doing that is for search engine purposes. Um, so the search engines can crawl that. So you want to actually insert into your post the one that is um, for viewing, of course. The others you're not going to insert into the post, you're just going to use their URLs and, and you're hosting them on your site so that the URLs are, are right there always. So go ahead and insert that one into your post. And you want this to link to the actual printable, right? So go back into your ad media and in here you can copy the URL for the one that's the actual 3D printable. Remember, it's the 2500 by 3, uh, 330, 3300, whatever. And then go in here and edit. Change this bad boy to custom URL. Paste in the URL for the one that actually is 8.5 by 11. And so now, when people click on it, it will pull up the 8.5 by 11. And because some people like to click on words instead of the picture, you go ahead and do a little insert of a link there, opening a new window tab. And to get your PDF, you do the exact same. Go in here to the Add Media, copy the URL, drop that in the PDF here, location, and you're done. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. We're going to save the draft and do our little Bosi post. And I have this set up in a funky way so that you have to go through pages to see the next one. And that's on purpose. Don't worry about me. So let's get to the one that we just dropped in. There's our pretty little printable that you can view. And then when you click on it, it pulls up the actual 8.5 by 11. And if I had a printer installed, I could just print it straight from here. Not have to resize it or anything. And readers love that. So there you have it. That is how you create and install a printable on WordPress. Y'all have a good night.